वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस्ट मोस्ट एंड यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी शेल लर्न अबाउट क्लास मेमिलिया फ्यू एवोल्यूशनरी फैक्ट्स देन फिफ्टीन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ मेमल्स एंड देन एट एंड वी शेल लर्न आ सिंगल सेंटेंस विच विल हेल्प अस टू लर्न ऑल द फिफ्टीन फीचर्स इन आ सिंगल गो लेट स्टार्ट इन द अर्ली हिस्ट्री द टर्म मेमल वॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गिवन बाय लिनियस Similarly mammals have most advanced brain and <clears throat> mammals evolved from reptilian ancestors cotylosaurs now keep in mind that mammals don't evolve from birds but reptiles uh, diverged into two lineages first goes into mammals and the second goes into birds so reptiles are the common ancestors of birds as well as mammals similarly Uh, among the earliest reptiles a uh, few uh, organisms were of size of a mice and had 50% features of today's mammals and that group of uh, reptilians uh, are called as varanops so varanops were the earliest mammals which had most features of mammals of today similarly mammals became dominant in cenozoic era because before this era uh, there was a dominance of uh, dinosaurs so dinosaurs extinction led to fast evolution of mammals now let's have a look at 15 most important and most needed features to learn for exams about mammals the first one are the pinna <clears throat> here is the ear pinna ear pinna of mammal is a very unique feature because it helps to divert sound waves towards inside of the ear and uh, maximum absorption of the sound waves result into clear and correct responses produced so pinna is a unique feature of mammals next one is the teeth you know that all uh, most of the animals have homodont teeth or homodont dentition but mammals have heterodont dentition you can observe uh, in these diagrams that uh, all the teeth uh, shown are of different nature and of different sizes so such dentition is called as heterodont so the teeth of mammals are heterodont next one is the voice box voice box of birds were called as uh, syrinx uh, and uh, but the voice box of mammals are called as larynx larynx is a very unique feature uh, which help us to speak which help other mammals to uh, produce sounds for their uh, uh, communication the next feature is diaphragm now diaphragm is the only structure present in the mammals and is not seen in any of the group before mammals so diaphragm helps in uh, breathing uh, of uh, lungs so diaphragm is a unique feature of mammals only next is the jaw <clears throat> we are talking about lower jaw only uh, lower jaw of mammals have only single bone but the rest of organisms have multiple bones either fused or separate the next uh, salient feature is the scent glands <clears throat> all the mammals uh, have scent glands uh, across the body under the skin but uh, the most important uh, and uh, prominent scent glands are present in the anus uh, region you can see in the diagram that this tiger is secreting uh, pheromones uh, from the anal scent glands mixed with the urine to mark their territory that uh, don't come here similarly <clears throat> scent glands in humans are also present uh, but these scent glands are masked by deodorants or sprays we use in our daily life the next feature is uh, viviparity or viviparous mammals are viviparous viviparous mean they develop their young ones in their body and when the young ones are fully developed then they are given birth and uh, uh, such a uh, feature or such uh, characteristics is called as viviparity or viviparous uh, we have seen this feature in some snakes that they give birth to their young one but that uh, is different from mammals the next feature are sweat glands uh, almost all mammals have sweat glands uh, and they secrete sweat sweat uh, uh, have mainly two uses uh, one is thermoregulation regulation of temperature of the body as well as secretion of some salts the next feature uh, to remember is the hair 
and the very unique and very famous feature of the mammals is the hair because all the uh, earlier uh, animals had either scales on their body or feathers but mammals have hairs hairs uh, serve two basic important features the first one is the thermoregulation and the second one is the protection the next feature to remember are the heart mammalian heart has four chambers these four chambers are totally separated from each other mean that oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is not mixed with each other as we seen in the reptiles the next feature is uh, homeothermy mammals are homeothermic mean they can maintain their internal body temperatures and they have to maintain their internal body temperature because uh, it is necessary for the enzymes to act upon uh, you can see that polar bears can maintain their internal body temperature even in the minus 50s or minus 60s the next feature to remember is the mammary gland and very unique and most important feature of the mammals mammary glands are the glands present in the females of mammals which produce milk and that milk is used as a food by young ones after birth the next feature of mammal is rbcs red blood cells of mammals are enucleated enucleated mean they don't have nucleus and when they become mature their nucleus is lost but uh, in the birds we have seen that rbcs of birds had nucleus in them so the rbcs of mammals don't have nucleus that is a unique feature next one is the ear bones we have seen that mammals ears have three basic bones malleus incus and stapes and you know stapes is the smallest bone of the human body and these bones are the unique feature of mammals similarly the last one is the cerebral cortex uh, cerebral cortex or cerebrum of mammals is highly developed you can see that all the upper portion of the diagram is the cerebrum or cerebral cortex and it is huge in the ratio of body size as compared to other animals so these are the 15 features uh, which are very basic uh, and uh, easy to remember now uh, let's have a look at a single sentence to remember all these features in a single go ptv djs versus hum records ptv is our news channel djs you know uh, hum is another news channel now remember this sentence by repetition PTV DJs versus Hum Record. P for Pina, T for Teeth, V for Voice Box, D for Diaphragm, J for Jaw, S for Sand Glands, V for VV Parity, S for Sweat Glands, first H for Hair, second H for Heart, third H for Homeothermy, M for Memory Glands, R for RBCs, E for Ear Bones, and then C for Cerebral Cortex. Hope you will remember these 15 features using this sentence. Now, please carefully listen what this guy is writing on the board. Thank you.